physicality of film, yeah. And that's why I had a, a problem when video came on board, because I couldn't get my hands on it. You know, I couldn't leave my footprints or my thumbprints on it. Um, but I was always interested in playing with the actual medium itself. Um, like a painter works with paint and, and canvas and all of those things in a really physical way. I'm never really sure what I'm setting out to do. Um, as I say, you know, I, I work really intuitively and naively for the most part. I will find an image. Okay, for instance, there's a film called Cellophane Wrapper. When I found this loop, I found this image. And there's an image of a woman in a factory who was shaking out these sheets of cellophane. And she does it three times. And each time the cellophane becomes more opaque. But because it's a repeated action, if I just made a loop out of that, it would seem that it was all the same thing. It was like what's what we call a perfect loop. I knew there was some meaning in there somewhere, but I wasn't too anxious to discover what that meaning was at that point. I wanted to just push that image as far as I could, in terms of like playing with the time, playing with the color, playing with the contrast. I would show it to people, stuff, and I said, well, what do you think it's about? And a lot of women would say, oh, it's a feminist film. It's all about this woman trapped in a factory. She can't get out. She's stuck in this loop of the factory. Other people would say, oh, no, it's the dancing Shiva. So then I realized that there was lots of different ways that this could be interpreted.